Hello, this is Armon, and over the past one to two weeks, I have been building a Linux-based Raspberry Pi drone. So, the drone has many different parts that allow it to fly, but first and most importantly, we have our flight controller. So, the flight controller is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with a Navio Emlet 2 shield. So, the flight controller is basically what gives commands to every other part of the drone. It's kind of like the brain of the drone, like the CPU of a computer. So, the Raspberry Pi acts as a processor. It'll process different codes, different scripts, and also different commands from a uh, controller, and it will give directions to the Navio. And the Navio is connected to the many other different parts through different ports, such as GPIO pin ports, which are general input and general output. The general input and output ports get uh, signals from the uh, electronic speed controllers, and also send signals. And next, Therefore, if uh, you send it on a mission and a gust of wind blows it out of its path, then it will automatically correct itself because the GPS knows its point in three space. Next, we have the LiPo battery. The LiPo battery sends power to the power module, which can send power to the Navio and also the uh, electronic speed controllers. So by plugging in the battery, we have a source of power when you're flying the drone. And next we have our telemetry module. Our telemetry module uh, allows us to connect our flight controller, which is our Raspberry Pi, to a computer through a telemetry connection. By this, you can uh, edit um, anything you want on the drone from anywhere in the world. Well, not really anywhere, but in a close vicinity. And then next we have the RC module. So here I have an RC controller, and after binding the RC module to the RC controller, the six channels on the module will listen to different channels on the controller. So if I change the throttle on the controller, it will change the throttle on the RC receiver. And then the receiver uh, sends signals to the PPM encoder, which is plugged into the Navio. So anything that's plugged into the Navio can be changed with the RC receiver. And then finally, we have our electronic speed controllers. The speed controllers receive pulse width modulation signals from the Navio, and then it will send signals to the motors, so it'll spin the motor stator. And then the propellers all have to be in the right direction, so the air is being pushed down instead of up. So I have positioned them properly, so it will repel air down and send the drone up. And now it's time for a demonstration the demonstration, I decided to do a simple takeoff and land just to demonstrate uh, the aerodynamics of the drone. So the drone will come up a little bit, it will stay in the air for maybe a few seconds and then it will change into land mode and it will land. So this is a very simple demonstration but in the, in the future we have uh, different projects planned. So one of the uh, multiple projects is our 